guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. This is the Orange Super Crush 100, and this amp kicks way more ass than I thought it would. And I already thought it was gonna kick ass. Let's take a closer look. All right, so the Orange Rocker Verb is one of my favorite new amps I've picked up over the last 12 months. And it's so unique sounding in the high gain landscape. I've likened it to the Nintendo console of high gain amps in that it doesn't follow the trend. Orange amps stand apart. In a world full of tight, mid-scooped, noise-gated modern sounds, the Rocker Verb is mid-rangey, fuzzy, and old-school wild. Not my main daily driver, but it's got a place in any studio. All right, cool, but why am I talking about the rocker verb so much, though? <laughs> Since we are talking about it, I've decided to bring it down and put it in the frame. I gotta say, this feels awesome sitting right next to two large orange heads. I can only imagine how Matt Pike feels all the time. <laughs> but the reason I'm talking about the rocker verb so much is because the idea behind the Super Crush is that it packs the rocker verb sound, but in a much more accessible, wallet-friendly package. While the two-base rocker verb retails for about two grand at the time of filming, this new Super Crush head is listed at $4.99. <laughs> There's also a 112 combo version for $6.99, but since I live in a city apartment, I asked Orange for the head, so thanks to them for sending it over for us to check out together and for sponsoring this video. I'm running the head into my Two Notes Torpedo Live, which allows me to use the custom impulse responses Luke and I have been working on, and prevents me from getting evicted. And it would get me evicted, because as you just heard, in a mix, it kicks some serious ass. When it comes to solid state, the Crush series has been immensely popular for years all over the world. Like when I was living in China, you'd see orange Crush amps everywhere. Orange knows what they're doing when it comes to solid state. Apparently, in addition to utilizing their ultra clean pedal baby power section, they've got a completely new preamp design using Jifet transistors for as close to a tube-like response as possible. Or something like that. I don't know what the f a Jifet is, but Colin does and he's excited about it. All I know is that the Super Crush has all that signature orange mid-range and it punches through in a mix. It's downright disrespectful. The tone is nasty and very rocker verb -esque. And I know some of you are probably only here to find out how it compares to the rocker verb. You know what? Understandable. If that's all you're here for, it's near the end. Timestamp in the description. Although I really appreciate your watch time. So afterwards, watch the demo track a few times or something. <laughs> I don't know. The algorithm's a cruel mistress. Help a dude out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Back to this amp though, it's built like a tank and I love that oranges have a very strong visual identity. Orange basket weave, big handles to pull the amp out of the chassis for repair, voice of the world crest, the hieroglyphs on the front panel. I love those. In addition to looking cool, the idea is you don't have to know English to dial in your tone. The control layout on the Super Crush is very intuitive and essentially the same as the Rockaverb and the previous Crush Pro. Clean channel controls are especially simple. Treble, bass, and volume. Dirty channel, you get some more options in volume, treble, mid, bass, and gain. Then you've got a master volume and a universal reverb, which sounds awesome on the clean channel. I've always liked on orange amps that the EQ knobs are smaller so you don't accidentally bump them, while the knobs you'll be adjusting more, like gain and reverb, are larger for easier access. I don't know, it's just like one of those small details I really appreciate. On the back panel, you've got an effects loop, throw a nice delay in there or whatever. Foot switch jacks you can use for the reverb or for channel switching. And an XLR out with orange cab simulation so you can run the app direct into an interface for recording or to front of house for live situations. And there's a toggle for open or closed back cabs. Now, unfortunately, orange heads don't come with foot switches, not even the rock verb. And it's a shame because I love the reverb on cleans and it's just annoying to have to reset it manually every time I switch back and forth from the dirty channel. Having everything foot switchable out of the box would have been awesome. These are the first world problems I'm privileged enough to complain about when we move. But now it's what you've been waiting for or it's what you have used the timestamp to skip to. How does the Super Crush 100 compare to the big boy rock verb Rocker Verb is a flagship level tube amp. It has that extra layer of depth and character. It's four times the price of the Super Crush. But is it four times as good though? I will say that the response of Solid State just isn't quite the same. Like I feel the response of the Rocker Verb more while I'm playing it in the room. But the recorded tones are impressively close. Interestingly, the Super Crush I actually found easier to dial in than the Rocker Verb. Like it was so simple, it took me about two minutes. And at about 25 pounds, the Super Crush is much more convenient to transport to full band practice or to gigs. The head shell is also quite small, like I fit it under my desk while working, which made tracking the demo and messing with tones incredibly easy. I don't know what the f orange put in the rock verb, but it has the mass of a small moon and it is not convenient to move at all. The rock verb does have a more detailed orange logo than the Super Crush though, 
Like the O is more boob like. So uh, there's there's that. But yeah, I'm massively impressed with the Super Crush. Obviously, you can see around here, I like my tube amps a little bit. And coming from a tube amp guy perspective, I was very pleasantly surprised with how lovely and downright nasty this orange boy was able to get. I feel like this entire video could have been summed up like, Super Crush, it's the diet rocker verb. Sounds great and costs much less. But now that you have made it to the end of the video, that's it from me. This is where I'll throw it to you. Let me know what you're thinking down below. If you enjoyed the video or if you didn't, you made it all the way to the end, so you may as well hit the like button at this point, the subscribe and notification bell while you're at it too. I mean, there's nothing of value left in this video. I'm literally just talking, so you may as well do it. Special shout out to my amazing patrons for supporting the channel. Social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I'll see you for the next video.